It is my absolute privilege uh, to introduce our panel this morning, um, where we are trying to sort of bring together these stakeholders for a discussion today. Uh, we're bringing together the founder and leader of an organization, a teacher, and a student. Uh, so I'm looking forward to the conversation ahead. And I would like to begin by introducing our first panel member, Almas Mukri. If we could spotlight Almas. There she is. Um, Almas is a kids education revolutionary at Teach for India, for India alumni students. She is currently pursuing her first year BMS from Burhani College and loves talking and listening to people. She is passionate about bringing a change in the mindset of people who discriminate based on gender stereotypes. She is ready to help people in any way she can and is passionate about playing football and being a change maker. Almas, a very good morning and thank you for being with us today. Um, good morning, everyone. I would like to uh, introduce our second panelist this morning, uh, Hina Attar. Hina is an education uh, educator by profession and teaches in the Tilak Nagar Mumbai Public School. Her aim is to make her students better individuals so that they can serve the nation and make this world a better place. Hina, if only everyone had that thought, uh, this world would surely be a definite, uh, a better place to be in. Uh, and thank you for being here this morning. Thank you so much. Good morning. Good morning. And last, but definitely not the least, um, I would like to introduce Lopa Gandhi. Lopa is the founder of Ugam Education Foundation and, and has over 20 years of experience in the field of education. Ugam works to transform KGBVs and empower adolescent girls in Jharkhand. She has vast experience in teaching adolescents, curriculum design and development, HR management in terms of coaching and training, program design and evaluation. She has worked in various senior positions with Akanksha Foundation, Kaivalya, Muktangan, Antarang Foundation, Transform Initiative, Cast Catalyst for Social Change, and that list goes on. Lopa, I don't think we can get to uh, the diversity of the work uh, that you've worked in, but I'm hoping some of that will come up in conversation. And thank you for being with us uh, today and being part of the panel. Lopa, you're on mute. Who would have thought two years of COVID and yet I haven't learned? <laughs> <laughs> but it's, well, uh, well, something people are learning every day, Lopa. So, so, so don't worry about that at all. Yeah. So good morning and lovely to be uh, on a panel with two very, very uh, lovely young ladies. So yeah, looking forward. <laughs> Great. Um, so I guess I want to, I also want to introduce Madhu, a sign language interpreter. Madhu, thank you uh, for being with us stylishly every single morning. Uh, thank you so much. Um, before I begin, for those of you all who weren't there um, in the morning, I just want to give a video description. Uh, and I'm hoping before Almas, Hina and Lopa, you all begin speaking, you all can just give a video description. So uh, I'm sitting against a white walled background. Uh, I have a little longer than shoulder length hair that's open. I'm wearing a grayish, grayish kurta and I have uh, a pair of silver earrings on. And I guess I want to begin this morning by just asking all three of you all this question on which this panel is based. Like really what role do you think schools play as systems in terms of influencing SEL and inclusion? And maybe we can, uh, Lopa, maybe you can begin uh, Hina, you could go next, and then Almas, you could go. Yeah, sorry. So you want me to start with a, a short video description, the way you Just, mentioned yours? Yes, yeah. yes. Okay. Uh, right. So uh, like uh, Shamin mentioned, I'm Rupa Gandhi. I am sitting at my home against an uh, off-white wall and uh, wearing a like, maroon kurta. Uh, I've tied up my hair in a, a small bun and I'm wearing a bindi and earrings uh, and I am smiling. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's a little bit about me. Uh, you want to complete the video descriptions, uh, Shamin, and then move to the questions? We could surely do that. That might be good. Uh, Hina and Almas, would you want to just go ahead with the video description? Hello, I'm Hina Akkar. Uh, I'm a teacher and uh, I've opened up my hair. I'm wearing an olive green uh, top 
and in the background you can see there's a painting of flowers and a photograph of my mom and dad behind me that's all thank you hina almas hello everyone uh, today i'm wearing black and green color kurti and i'm super excited i have a smile on my face today just is happy to hear you I have to say I'm loving the smiles. Uh, and with that, Lopa, uh, go ahead and uh, if you can start, like I said, with that first question, that what role do you think schools play as systems in terms of influencing SEL and inclusion? Um, so I think, I mean, first and foremost, um, when lockdowns are not in place, uh, every child spends a significant amount of time Uh, in his life and also on almost a daily basis in a school environment, uh, and therefore, definitely, along with uh, families and family environment, schools and school environment will have a significant bearing and influence on uh, how they shape up, uh, how their thinking is shaped uh, as as individuals. Uh, along with this, we also see that um, in particularly in government schools uh, there is also a very uh, clear and strong mandate to ensure certain inclusivity in terms of admissions in terms of uh, treatment etc so uh, i think that at a if you see particularly at, in the rural spaces where we work largely uh, schools do come across as um, fairly inclusive fairly um non controversial fairly trusted spaces and yes one or two odd incidents do happen so i'm not saying this as a blanket statement but bro broadly i think uh, kids do sit together they do eat together they do uh, play together and uh, i think that's that's uh, important and therefore nurturing th this space itself also acquires importance i think. yeah absolutely lopa i know you know what you're saying is when when kids are growing up of course they spend a large time in their homes but i guess the second largest time in some senses right. or sometimes even more time than from the home in school so absolutely i think nurturing those spaces um becomes critical sure hina would you like to add to that uh yes i think schools uh, play a very major role because uh, i have heard like schools are miniature of the society so supporting and celebrating diversity and inclusion in school works because it gives all the children potential to achieve and create an environment where those uh, with additional needs are not seen as uh, segregated or seen as other like they are the part of same uh, community of learners inclusion addresses uh, negative cultural attitudes as well and misconceptions about people with disabilities or those who are members of minority community like inclusion will bring a uh, you know drastic change uh, in the society uh, for you know having this acceptance attitude thanks yeah uh, I, i absolutely hina in fact you know yesterday um, or perhaps on the first day i think you know one of the things i mentioned and something that i constantly talk about is while we have this entire summit um, which we've had last year and this year and we hope to continue to have the hope is that we don't actually have to use these words like inclusion because we shouldn't have to uh, everybody should just be fitting and uh, that's something that we hope to reach if we start nurturing these spaces like you said because it's so much about celebrating diversity together and while often times that's spoken about it's not it, it's harder to implement in practice um so absolutely yeah go ahead almas yeah so i think mean, i feel like school plays an important role in inclusion and sel because school is like a second home for us like about like our life and we spend those in school and how teachers we how teachers supported us the love we get around surrounding us we get say by time whatever we do whatever we do in those ten years that are the those ten years are the life that we have Hello, hello, hello. Uh, hello. She's not clear. Can you be a little more clear? Sure. Uh, Almas, your voice was breaking up a little bit. Could you just repeat yourself? Yes, yes, sir. Am I audible now? Yes, you are. Just it's slightly soft, but. Yes, yes, sir. 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 Yes, sir.
So uh, what I feel like uh, inclusion, school plays an important role in inclusion and SCI because if our students, as a student, school is a second home for us because ten ten years we have been school and those ten years we the love we get, the learning we get from our school, that's how we shape up like we are the future. So school plays an important role. It's like a second home for us. Thank you. I'm so glad to hear a student say that uh, because I know teachers often say, oh, this is like a second home. But when, when it actually comes from the student, I think it makes it so much more meaningful that uh, the school is a second home because, of course, you do spend sometimes more than 10 years of your life um, in that place. Thank you for bringing in that angle, Almas. Um, I guess, you know, I'm curious to know, I, I know that, you know, the idea for today was to have a panel where we have all the stakeholders in some senses representation of all. Um, and, and I guess I'm wondering what brought you here to this space? Like what has gotten you all interested in this space um, from a systemic lens into inclusion and SEL? Why, why is this meaningful for you? And anyone can go. I mean, Hina, if you would like to start, uh, go ahead. Because um, first of all, uh, I'm a very empathetic person and kind. So these all things really attract me. Like uh, I, I have seen that Agni Shala organization uh, is working in our school, like from 2013, I guess, the, the year which I joined my school. So I was like, hey, what is this NGO trying to do or what is it? Because it was actually new for me. And I was just uh, stepped into the education sector as a teacher. So these all things very, uh, you know, caught my attention. And I felt ki, like, nahi, yaar, ye hai. like, it's important. Like, we really need this because as you will think, we have to develop a lot of skills which are necessary to, you know, cope up with our problems or, you know, deal with everyday situations. So I felt ki, like, yes, this has to be started somewhere. It is important that all people should hear about this. Like, I would say many of them are still not aware about what, uh, you know, the things you are working on, or is it, it is really important for the kids, you know, for their mental health, or you can say their holistic development. So I really uh, have this, you know, a special interest in uh, SEL, I would mm -hmm. say. Every time as uh, Apnishal has organized um, uh, SEL inclusions and all, so I am always part of them. And they are happy to collaborate with me in all these things. And so that is what uh, interested me to join this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and Lopa, I'm going to move to you next because I know you've done a diversity, you've played a diversity of roles, you've been in very diverse spaces. So can you give us a little bit of a sense of, um, I know you've moved from also different kinds of organizations, you worked in an Akanksha and a Muktangan, uh, which are more, you know, when we spoke the other day, you called it more controlled environments, because uh, they're, they're organizations that partner with the government, but in terms of a uh, public-private partnership. And of course, there, those environments are a little bit more controlled and moving from there to Jharkhand where Ugam uh, Education Foundation is now. Give us a little bit about what do you notice in terms of systemic um, uh, barriers, of course, but also what, what works in terms of systemic changes in sort of bringing inclusion, uh, inclusion and SEL into the mix? <clears throat> Yeah, so uh, so first of all, I think uh, just knowing Apni Shala, Amrita, Rohit, and uh, you and a lot of other people involved with uh, Apni Shala. Uh, so that's, I mean, so always have been kind of, uh, you know, in touch with different people and broadly uh, aware of the work and, uh, and also its importance. Uh, secondly, I think um, more and more as we, as I see, uh, look around, uh, I realize that um, listening, um, understanding, keeping a heart and a mind open are not, we should not assume that they are givens. Uh, mm -hmm. I think they need to be, um, for lack of a better word, they need to be taught. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think uh, whether whenever we face difficulties, man-made, natural, uh, you see people, you see examples which fill you with anguish, but also which fill you with hope and optimism. And I feel that there is 
if ever there was a more uh, a higher need to do uh, inclusivity and sel it is perhaps now uh, so i think that's and and uh, and why apni shala because there is just that that connect and that faith in the work and the people that are at apni shala so mm -hmm. i think that's about what comes uh, there uh, i think uh, when you mention about um uh, and by control i meant that when you have your own staff when you have trained your own staff and when you're working in a more open open system in the sense that where you are playing a a a, a small role in a much larger jigsaw uh, hmm. so, so to speak uh so systemically i feel a lot of things are in place in terms of uh, guidelines right so uh, there are uh, I mean, if you go to government schools you will find children with special needs you will find also many many girls now um uh, you will find people across caste uh, gender uh, religion those uh, those uh, barrier to nahi keh sakte par i i'm missing the correct word there um so in that sense it is there uh having said that ultimately every school is a reflection of the society and community it comes from right uh, so if you can't have a situation where at a one level there is more polarization more exclusion more intolerance and then suddenly in between you'll have this island of uh, inclusivity and you know sel so i think there is a need to work there and uh, i feel within systems large systems like a government education systems a lot of things are in place and individually and personally a lot of people are uh, very geared and open to what we want to talk about so i which gives me a lot of hope <laughs> yeah in fact even yesterday in our panel it sort of you know one of the things said was that the government has a lot of policies in some senses in place which is i guess testimony to the changing mindset that this is something that's important but but i guess having that policy and sort of by the time you have policy and move it to implementation um is a long journey and and you know since you called out that while some of the systems are in place um lofa lofa if i could just you know ask you to say a little bit more and then i'm going to ask almas and hina to add into that question what do you feel are some factors um that are already going well in terms of systems within schools that make this possible because i i know you said that there are some systems in place can you call out some of those systems because like you rightly said we can't have this island of inclusion when the community in itself the mindset is so different so what have you all been doing at ugam or what are things that you've noticed um in school systems which can sort of like you called out nurture um some of these practices uh so in terms of systems i think like i said admission policies all of those are very inclusive etc uh one other issue that you face and again whether at every level in, in any any type of school is uh often times um we, we uh, often times people directly approach or work with the kids but the point mm. is also that if the teachers and the adults in the school if no sel kind of discussion or, or work is done with them it's going to be difficult for that system to sustain na matlab hmm. aap to wohi de paoge jo aapke paas hai hmm. aapke paas frustration aur bitterness hai to aap bahut hi anand aur inclusivity spread karoge wo thoda mushkil hi lag raha hai mujhe to hmm. uh, to to in cheezon ko bhi dhyan mein rakhna uh, mere hisab se bahut zaruri hai so uh, in teachers are not instruments through which something will will get delivered right teachers yes. are people uh, and i think uh, that's that's something that everybody needs to uh, keep in mind at ugam in terms of some of the work we've done is um, again we because we believe ki hum kuch naya parallel nahi kahenge hum jo abhi chal raha hai usi ko kaise hum thoda sa badal sakte hai right so one space where we have tried to intervene in some ways is the school assembly mm. right mm. and i'm i'm happy to talk about it in detail a little later but that's sure. definitely one space a uh, use of simple things like use of songs and stories in classrooms uh, right. in government schools which are again this is not a given ye sab jagah hota hi hai aisa nahi hai wo karna padega aur 
ये भी समझ बनानी पड़ेगी कि गीत गाना कोई मतलब बहुत जगह ऐसा लगता है कि आप क्या ये गीत गाते हो तो ये तो नर्सरी टाइप की बातें हैं ये क्यों फिफ्थ स्टैंडर्ड में सेवन स्टैंडर्ड में करा रहे हो तो वो वो चर्चा में भी वी एक्सपेक्ट अदर्स टू लिसन बट वी मस्ट ऑल्सो लिसन या या नो एब्सोल्युटली आई थिंक सच इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट्स लोपा यू नो जो आप जिसके बारे में आप बात कर रहे हैं दैट इट्स नॉट सो मच अबाउट ऑलवेज डूइंग मोर जो एग्जिस्टिंग है उसको हम थोड़ी अलग तरीके से कैसे कर सकते हैं एंड दैट्स ऑफ इन टाइम्स द चैलेंज वी फेस इन स्कूल्स के कई बार जब भी हम लोग स्कूल जाते हैं एंड वी टॉक टू टीचर्स अबाउट इंक्लूजन वो माइंड रहता है कि वो माई गॉड नाउ हैव टू डू दिस ऑल्सो नॉट दर आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू डू बट बट फिजिकली और मेंटली मेरे पास टाइम ही नहीं है बिकॉज देर आर सो मेनी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज फॉर टीचर्स एंड इसमें एक और चीज एड की गई है सो इफ यू कैन टेक एग्जिस्टिंग एग्जिस्टिंग सिस्टम एंड सॉर्ट ऑफ जस्ट ट्वीक दे लिटिल बिट इट्स लाइक यू नो वेन यू नो वन ऑफ द थिंग्स दैट वीव नोटिस इन सम ऑफ द अदर स्कूल इज द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ सर्कल टाइम जैसे आप बोल रहे हैं कि सिर्फ सर्कल में बातचीत करना यू डू इट वेन किड्स आर इन प्राइमरी बट कैन वी ट्वीक दैट एंड द नेचर ऑफ दैट इन ओल्ड द क्लासेस टू सॉर्ट ऑफ टू प्रमोट इंक्लूजन एंड एस सी एल सो एब्सोल्यूटली अलमास डू यू वॉन्ट टू एड टू दैट के आपको क्या लगता है कि अदर स्पेसिफिक थिंग्स systemically student hone ke hisab se you've noticed that have worked um in your school or your experience so in my school in my experience what i have noticed in classrooms we used to do lots of activities so i was mm. a student i was very shy and not good at studies and not know how to speak in english also so my teacher supported me you know by asking simple questions like do you understand what was taught in class with a smile on their face so those mm. smile gave me courage to speak up and clear my doubts like i think you know there is no word i don't understand teacher so uh, apart from this what i feel teacher being friendly and open minded free of judgment not being discriminatory towards students gave students the courage to speak up and to know like what you want uh, that gave student confidence in themselves like we can speak up and apart from this there was so many, there were many of my friends that who were you know they know the answer lekin unko bolna nahi hai because they hmm. were like what if people will laugh on me what if uh, they know that so i was used to feel like why always me answering i also want my friends to get engaged and you know participate in the class so i uh, took the initiative and ownership and share this with my teachers like you know uh, teach uh, didi and teacher like why my friends are not answering even i want them to answer how can we make our class more interactive and interesting so they can also participate so we did uh, we gave lots of feedback to uh, our teacher how we can improve how we can put in, engage in like you know classroom activities toward that particular topic and apart from that like i have even seen like even doing the uh, classroom activities there were some students who were facing many problems and then we created a space i share this problem with my teachers like uh, after observing and listening to my other students other classmates then then we create a space called safe space sharing circle it is a space where students and teachers come together share their thoughts uh, without any fear judgment listen to each other and you know it's a place where you can just share about anything about life what's going on what problem you are facing any problem in your studies uh, so apart uh, from sharing those little little things each day we came up with a solution and help each other and with those activities we created confident in ourselves belief and teamwork and you know that at the end of the day you know there is someone there is a family that you can go back if something happens to you and this created a lots of love and trust between us and understanding towards each other that how we can uh, be a, a family and support each other and apart from this uh, we did it a group study we started like you know sometimes there are teachers teaching very well but there are things that we only get with our friends hmm. understand with our friends so we started a study buddy system so we like see you know you teach me and i will teach you what uh, we are capable of teaching with each other and with a fun way so we did it that and apart from that we started a peer counseling in our school and reflecting room so peer counseling is where you know there are times we, we don't like sharing secrets with teachers or any adults <laughs> within you know there are things like that so we started peer counseling there when you feel like lots of emotion at a time lots of things inside your head just just want to blurt out like telling to your friends or some just to listen to them so we started peer counseling so you after school we used to just have in one half an hour like whoever wants to just come in the peer counseling room just come and we will be listen to them so we started that with me and my some of my friends we did that and the reflecting room where you know 
it's a space that you just can come and reflect uh, clear your thoughts and just be like have me time in that room so it was all of this it did yeah wow almas i i don't even know where to begin to respond to that you have listed out um such critical things in terms of participation and you know apart from everything that you said the one thing that really stood out to me was that you gave the teacher feedback um and that's also been pointed out by uh jo in the chat that how participation is such a critical element right and what lopa was saying ke kafi nahi hai ke hum bolte rahe humko sunna bhi padta hai and it is so important because um, we have to sort of learn from each other uh, it is not enough for the teacher to sort of know everything do everything um, and take the onus on everything but as a student what role can you play and you pointed that out so beautifully in terms of so many examples the peer counseling the reflection mm-hmm. room the um i loved what you said about that we can't share all our secrets with teachers uh, i completely agree sometimes there are secrets that teachers and parents don't even want to know so uh, that's really amazing to know that you'll have uh, you know taken some of those initi- initiatives thank you almas for bringing so many of those um, thoughts in hina would you like to add to that yes thank you and almas uh, um thank you almas and lopa like they have already highlighted many points but still i would say ki like um, gender equality like mostly we are speaking but uh, very few are working on it or you know ki matlab just bola ja raha hai but actual mein implement nahi ho pata hai mm-hmm. like there are many factors there are biasness against you know uh, especially around girls and boys as a sub so we have been seeing ki uh, in our school especially we have given equal importance to the boys as well as girls like uh, i have seen in many schools or in many classroom teachers say ki boys thoda ye bench ko hila do ya ye move kar do but i started like we were you know girls you come out you move this bench you move this table for me so there be like uh, there, there was the time ki like students uh, literally for a while boys were like teacher ye hum kaam karenge na so i was like no why can't girls do that even mm-hmm. girls have this first potential so so literally in my class uh, girls and boys are equal are equal and i have given them equal importance uh, plus they both are vocal like most of the time, uh, time uh, boys literally just say whatever they feel but girls thoda mm-hmm. hichki chahte hai kahi na kahi because at homes they are taught in that way ki uh, thoda soch samajh ke bola karo or you know they are not given that freedom to just open up but in right. my but in my classroom the environment is completely different like girls and boys are equally vocal they are very expressive and they just come and say whatever they feel they uh, give the feedback just like alma said ki like ek wo ek barrier hota hai na teacher aur student ke beech mein to wo barrier kahi nahi hai like i have been so friendly to them like they can just come and uh, tell me anything they feel and this is what uh, i have felt ki like this creates a large difference ki matlab unki chote chote baat bhi wo address aake karte hain bina hechke chahe so that is very important i feel then giving the students autonomy to take decision like mm-hmm. every time if teachers keep on throwing decisions on the students um it would uh, really become unfair ki like students are just sitting in the classroom and teacher is throwing the decision chalo ab ye karna ye karna ye karna but instead uh, when i ask them कि अब क्या कर सकते हैं लाइक व्हाट डू यू वांट टू लर्न दिस फ्यू लिटिल क्वेश्चंस फील स्टूडेंट्स के लाइक आर डिसीजंस मैटर और आर चॉइसेस मैटर और आर फीलिंग्स मैटर लाइक देयर इज सम पीक पॉइंट कि लाइक स्टूडेंट्स आर जस्ट लाइक नो वी डोंट वांट टू लर्न एनीथिंग वी वांट टू डू सम अनदर एक्टिविटी और प्ले अ गेम सो दैट इज व्हाई जस्ट बिफोर आई स्टार्ट आई जस्ट गिव अ चेक इन टू द स्टूडेंट्स कि लाइक कैन वी डू दिस नाउ और व्हाट वी कैन डू एट दिस मोमेंट ऑफ टाइम so uh, that is what i feel ki building the rapport with the students is very important and creating different opportunities for the kids to express like uh, some students may uh, come and express verbally some may mm. uh, with dance or music or some may just write or draw or you know uh, through art he could explain what what they are feeling right now or you know answer to specific questions like kal maine kal hi maine activity liya tha mere class mein i would like to become and they have to just draw it out 
so mm. many students like literally give, give the classroom picture and a teacher teaching or a, a picture of an hospital and the doctor is treating the patient or uh, you know uh, there there was a kid who drew uh, rockets um, and with tricolor behind the gases and the soldier was there in a tricolor flag so i was like literally stunned ki like kitne idea so they are just 8 years old and we just need to uh, give the uh, you know opportunities to create uh, to express themselves or you know to 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 think about the things which they really matter yeah oh my god again i'm i'm stumped with the <laughs> with the things uh, that you all are saying it's just so beautifully um, articulated with examples and um, heena you know so much of what you said goes back to of course the participation piece of it but also how the what seemingly seems very little things can make such a big difference and and it really i think you know calls out to this idea that we have ke bachcho ke paas itne ideas nahi hoenge ya bachche bol nahi payenge ya bachche soch nahi payenge the thing is that we just don't ask it's a matter of asking and creating those opportunities um i think sometimes schools mein hum log ne kya notice kiya hai and and just generically you know jeevan mein humne kya notice kiya ki bahut hi power dynamics rehte hain कि अगर मैं स्कूल में क्लासरूम में टीचर हूं तो मुझे सब कुछ आना चाहिए इट्स नॉट दैट यू नो द स्टूडेंट कैन नो मोर फ्रॉम मी सो आई रादर जस्ट नॉट आस्क and it's so nice to see if you know things being done differently um i do want to go back a little bit to the gender equality that you spoke about before i come to lopa uh, and lopa I, i would like you to elaborate some of the things that you said uh, in terms of the ideas like assembly and things but because uh, heena you mentioned uh, gender equality and how a small thing like um you know you're getting the boys to uh, the girls to sort of help with the physical things um again goes back to our ideas that we have right agar koi bachchi gir jati hai playground mein to hum you know usko behlate hain puslate hain bechari bachchi acha you know but if a boy falls down our reaction is chalo chalo utho strong boy strong boy you know rona nahi hai and i think sometimes you know these things go so against the scl and the inclusiveness that we try to do um in other realm so it also calls out the importance of sort of just being mindful uh in terms of what we are doing in the classes but almas i wanted to ask you i know gender equality is something you are passionate about and how did that come to being like are there specific things that you have been able to do in your school uh to sort of uh talk more about it or you know bring in more inclusion with that aspect yes so like has uh, hina didi said like there were time in our school as well like teach, some teachers used to discriminate like you are a girl speak properly don't talk much with boys you like yeah like so in the classroom even we did the same thing like we had every every month we had a classroom cleaning thing so we used to take boys doing grooming and we girls are placing the benches and picking up the stuff like that and uh, apart from that like i have always been passionate about playing football so our teachers were like girls team nahi ban sakti because girls don't play football i was like no mm. i wanted playing football so mm. then i convinced there was then we started collecting like who was interested in football but then after girls team banne ke baad the parents were like no uh, you need to play you can't play here even my family even there was like ki you can't play almas football because you come from a family that you can't wear shorts and you don't have to be like that so i convinced my parents first like you know you can't say me this like i really love playing football and it's something that i enjoy being playing so what i did i convinced my parents i said like let me try for the first month if i get you a good result and come see me on the ground like how i play and then you tell me like if if i don't want to play or not so i did mm-hmm. that with my family then i convinced my team mate like going eat uh, me and my vice uh, leader of the football team we went to eat a player mm-hmm. house and convince their parents like you also come to the ground and watch girls playing football and winning them so in the beginning we did that going to football asking parents to come it was a great uh, the parents were like laughing even like it was so small i was just playing football kicking the ball here and there so it was fun uh, seeing and like from those shifting parents minds and uh, teachers minds it's most important because why girls can't play football is something that normal like we can play it if you can do it we can do it yeah 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 i mean such a simply put thing why can't girls play football it's such a normal thing it's play like every yeah. child should be able to 
play what they want and also express every emotion that they want um so yeah thank you for bringing that up i loved and i'm in, i'm curious um to know how you convinced your parents but we'll save that for another conversation because i think a lot of uh, a lot of people would like to learn that skill in terms of how they can convince parents for things that are so different from the expectation or the norm it, just to add that ahead. like there is always one thing i have noticed like when you ask your parents for permission they would say no so just do one <laughs> thing i always do that one thing i'm telling you i am doing this you come and see i'm with this this people i will come by home at this time i'm just doing it so they can't say no to me i'm, I'm telling you i'm not asking permission for it but that's <laughs> that's amazing i think heena and lopa and me are laughing because from our experiences perhaps as parents and teachers uh, we probably experienced that and now we're recalling oh my god okay that was strategy uh, so so that's uh, thank you all much for sharing that um but lopa coming to you i know you said that you all have also been doing um engaging in some practices uh, like you said one of the things you did was assembly but can would you like to just talk a little bit about some of the things you all have been doing too in terms of uh, promoting inclusion and scl yeah yeah so uh, i'll uh, talk at two levels so uh, we because we also we work with uh, kasturba gandhi balika vidyalayas and in case somebody is not aware these are uh, this is a government run residential school program uh, only for girls from grade 6 onwards mm, so uh, it and it has the usual so it is uh, it has admission criteria in terms of making sure that uh, the some of the most vulnerable girls are uh, given admission whether it's in terms of um uh, scst obcs uh, or even single parent families girls who have dropped out etc um so that, uh, in jharkhand we have 201 such schools running uh, and we work with these not all 201 but significant number from there uh, so that's that's where we work uh, uh, post the lockdown we also started a small fellowship program for the kgbv alumni the girls who passed out of kgbvs uh, because one because of lockdown schools were closed and it was just kind of uh, frustrating for us to uh, not be able to uh, have any connect directly with community or uh, with uh, girls uh, and it's been a complete uh, complete revelation it's been an eye opener it's been a beautiful beautiful journey i'm sure for the fellows but definitely for us so if we talk about things we do at both levels right so in the schools and if this becomes too long please feel free to interrupt no no go ahead uh, so so at the school level it's simple things right typically school ki assembly mein kya hota hai ki koi 10 12 bacche ek tarah se फॉर्मली नहीं पर इनफॉर्मली सिलेक्टेड जैसे हो जाते हैं राइट तो इनमें से कोई आके अखबार पढ़ेगा इनमें से कोई आके गुड थॉट शेयर करेगा इनमें से कोई आके जीके के सवाल लाइक रशिया इज नॉट अ ग्रेट एग्जाम्पल लाइक से डेनमार्क की राजधानी क्या है टाइप राइट अब इस इन ये परिस्थिति में क्या होता है कि जो बच्चे ज्यादा रीडिंग करते हैं या ज्यादा स्कूलिंग का या अनुभव हुआ है या घर से कुछ अलग टाइप का सपोर्ट उनको हासिल है तो वही बच्चे बिकॉज द क्वेश्चन आर वेरी नॉलेज बेस्ड फला राजधानी कहा है फला बैटल कब हुआ था इसका इसकी आबादी कितनी है टाइप राइट right? तो इंक्रीजिंगली क्या हुआ कि हम देख रहे थे कि लार्ज पार्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट स्टैंडिंग इन दैट असेंबली आर नॉट एंगेज इन दैट एक्टिविटी सो वी सेट कि आप अपना जो और बहुत सारी एक्टिविटी स्टेट से मैंडेटेड होती है तो वो करनी ही पड़ती है तो वो करिए डेफिनेटली नथिंग टू टेक अवे फ्रॉम दैट पर क्या आप पंद्रह मिनट का टाइम दे सकते हैं तो पंद्रह मिनट में आर फोकस वॉज पार्टिसिपेशन एंड एक्सप्रेशन तो हम क्या कर सकते हैं छोटी छोटी एक्टिविटी जिससे हर एक बच्ची कुछ तो पार्टिसिपेट कर पाए सो वी सेट ओके हम नॉलेज बेस के बदले एक्सपीरियंस बेस्ड सवाल पूछे तो कैसा रहेगा Right? Hmm. जैसे मैंने पूछा अगर मैंने पूछा फला देश की आबादी क्या है उसके बदले मैंने पूछा कि आपके गांव में या आपके घर में कितने लोग रहते हैं और उनके साथ आपका क्या रिश्ता है 
अब इसके लिए आपका लर्निंग लेवल टू ग्रेड लेवल बिलो है फाइव ग्रेड लेवल बिलो है फर्क नहीं पड़ता बिकॉज ये जीवन का अनुभव है राइट वी वुड आस्क एनकरेज देम टू आस्क क्वेश्चन लाइक वॉट वर द थ्री स्मॉलेस्ट थिंग्स यू नोटिस वेन यू वॉक टू दसेंबली टूडे or what were the three largest things you observed when you went to uh, came to the assembly uh, today or mm. uh, what are the five new five different trees that you see in your village when you go back home right, right. so right. one was it's a very very small shift and then we said pairs banaiye aur pair mein ek dusre kyunki wo assembly mein to 300 bacche khade hai na to 300 ka right. sawal jawab to kab sunega koi राइट right? तो ए, एक दूसरे के साथ बात करिए और आप पैर ऐसे बनाइए कि आपके वर्क का ना हो आपका पार्टनर यू नो दे स्टैंड इन क्लास वाइज क्यूज राइट सो यू नो यू आर काइंड ऑफ क्रिएटिंग दैट दैट दिस ब्रेकिंग हेल्पिंग ब्रेक दैट बैरियर बिकॉज वो हॉस्टल में भी एक तरह का पैकिंग ऑर्डर हो जाता है ना सीनियर hmm. बच्ची फिर ये फिर hmm. इस टाइप से right. तो वो कर, आप, आप कोशिश कर सकते हो um, right. then we sim- very simple things we started uh, doing balgeet in the assembly balgeet are for children they are very they are very fun kind of thing so hmm. isme koi desh nahi hai is kahani ka bodh kya hai koi bodh nahi hai iska ek hi bodh hai sab log bolo sab log gao to hum we generally say energy action and anand ye teen cheez hmm. ke sath gana hai baki ka aage dekh lenge इसके शब्दों का गहरा मीनिंग कुछ नहीं ढूंढना है हमें वी जस्ट हैव टू बी इन दैट मोमेंट एंड एंजॉय दैट मोमेंट एंड देन विल फिगर आउट द वोकैबुलरी लेटर राइट सो दीज आर वेरी स्मॉल थिंग्स दैट वी स्टार्टेड वी हैव सजेस्टेड नॉट दैट एवरीबॉडी इज डूइंग इट बट वी सजेस्ट इन डूइंग इन असेंबली पंद्रह ही मिनट सो वी आर जनरली सेइंग हम आपका नया कुछ नहीं कहने को कह रहे हैं हम आपका एक्स्ट्रा टाइम नहीं मांग रहे हैं आपको जो टाइम देना है उसी में ये चेंज सुझाव दे रहे हैं सिमिलरली इन क्लासरूम विद समर गर्ल्स एथ नाइन्थ टेंथ ग्रेडर्स एंड कमिंग टू द जेंडर डिस्कशन वी वुड से अच्छा वो बंदर और टोपी वाले की सपोज कहानी तो हाँ सब जानते हैं हाँ सब जान अच्छा बहुत मजा आया मजा आया टेन वी से ओके अभी एक दूसरी तरह से इसके बारे में सोचते हैं कि ये टोपी वाला नहीं होता टोपी वाली होती तो क्या होता राइट hmm. right? uh, अगर टोपी वाली होती तो क्या वो गांव गांव घूम के टोपी या कुछ भी सामान बेच सकती थी क्या hmm. वो जंगल के रास्ते अकेली चल के जा सकती थी या hmm. या कोई जंगल में कोई भी पेड़ के नीचे बैठ के आराम कर सकती थी राइट सो दीज आर जस्ट क्वेश्चन देन वी आर पुशिंग दैट दैट थिंकिंग अराउंड द जेंडर रोल्स एंड वॉट एवर इज इन देयर माइंड एंड लास्टली विद द फेलो आई मीन जस्ट टू गिव अ स्मॉल एग्जाम्पल and how hard and deep rooted this is so with the fellows we ask and fellows are like 20 21 year old right so we ask them ki aap aankh band kariye and you imagine your morning in your household right subah whatever 5:30 se 8:00 ka time kon kya karta hai wo sab dekhiye aap kya karti ho pitaji kya karte hai bhai kya karta hai then we said ki abhi aap ye kalpana kariye ki reverse ho raha hai to aap cha पे लेटे हो आप भाई को या पापा को कह रहे हो कि मुझे एक कप चाय बना के दो या आप भाई को कह रहे हो ये मेरा कपड़ा है धो के रख देना द फेलोज फाउंड इट सो सो डिफिकल्ट टू इवन इमेजिन दिस करना तो बहुत दूर की बात है पर वो कल्पना में ला पाना सो दीज आर द स्मॉल थिंग्स एट वी डू इन इन डिफरेंट थिंग्स या but but amazing lopa to hear such and and like you said i think what really stands out is there are it's small things it's not something that perhaps requires too much of an effort on part of the teacher so just like you said 15 minutes of meaningful engagement moving from like knowledge based to experience based just getting them to think more about what a change in the gender role will look like so if it was not a topi wala but it was a topi wali such um like i said they seem simplistic but those simple things even you know like hina was talking about and almas was talking about it's really about i think it also comes to you know the word that's coming to me is collaboration um because it's about the and and we've spoken a lot over the last two days about how inclusion and sel also has to do more with the mindset right it's not so much content but it's really about the willingness and the want and the attitude and i think 
some part of that is it's getting me to think about this right now that some part of that is just being open to conversation and being open to listening to what another stakeholder has to say. Um, so, so thank you all. Uh, it, it's such beautiful sharings. I mean, um, what I'm what I'm hoping to do is, you know, ask perhaps just one more question because I do want to leave um, about ten minutes for questions from the audience. Um, sorry, if I, mean, if I may, sorry, sorry, if I may just on a lighter note, so our fellows sometimes share that घर में मम्मी या पापा ने बोला कि ये क्या है ये उगम ने आके ना तुम्हारा दिमाग में भूसा भर दिया है आई सेड दैट इज माय मॉनिटरिंग एंड इवैल्यूएशन टेलिंग मी वी आर ऑन द राइट ट्रैक आई आई लव दैट यू नो वी ऑल हैव टू थिंक ऑफ द एमएनई वी कांट लीव दैट आउट बट या एंड एंड दैट्स एब्सोल्युटली बैंग ऑन दैट इफ इफ पीपल आर नोटिसिंग दैट देन ऑफ कोर्स दैट मींस योर एमएनई इज बैंग ऑन ट्रैक uh that's amazing to hear and and what i would like to sort of ask like i said one perhaps last question is that just systemically if we were to envision everything that you all have said and and think i mean last yesterday we spoke about the fact that there may not be um models necessarily but things to go by like you know because inclusion is a journey it will look different for everybody uh, in every school it will look different within every school perhaps for every class teacher or every student uh, or the school leader it will look different because priorities will be different but just generically if i were to ask you all that if systemically we are able to sort of imbibe you know this idea of inclusion and sel into curriculum into systems into the minds what do you think might become possible for all of us in terms of a community like what will that systemic change bring about and anyone can start uh, perhaps hina you could start then i'll go to almas and then uh, to lopa yes uh, i would begin with myself like what hina you've gone on to mute sorry yeah sorry uh, so i'll begin with my experience like what changes uh, have come in me like my teaching approach has changed my thought process has changed i have become more sensitive towards kids like previously teachers you know even i have done that would admit that ki matlab bachcho ko kuch hum bol dete but then we don't feel ki ki yaar usko bura lag gaya hai ki kya like some there come points ki hum bhi frustrated ho jate hai ki like mm. there are 60 70 kids in my class and then uh, har ek ka kuch na kuch you know bar 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 complaints aate rehti hai so at some point even i get angry on some kids when but then even i feel more bad like what like yaar main nahi bolna chahiye tha but fir ye uh, sel aane ke baad classroom ka environment itna change ho gaya ki we have become mindful ki matlab uh, if we say this uh, so uh, she or he should not get hurt तो मैंने मेरे से ही स्टार्ट किया लाइक आई सेट एन एग्जाम्पल फॉर माई किड्स आई बी केम काइंड आई शोड देम केयरिंग एंड लव एंड कंसर्न सो इन रिटर्न आई गॉट यू नो आई वुड सेट टू हंड्रेड परसेंट मोर बिकॉज दिस टाइनी ह्यूमन्स हैव द बिगेस्ट हार्ट लाइक दे शो सो मच ऑफ लव एंड देन दे कम एंड ओपन अप टू यू एंड देन यू नो कि मतलब छोटी छोटी बातें मैटर करती है लाइक दिस लाइटेस्ट ऑफ चेंज मतलब क्लासरूम का एनवायरमेंट चेंज हो जाता है कोई किसी के पास मतलब एक्सवाइज चीज नहीं है तो आगे से उठ के तीन चार बच्चे खुद आके हेल्प कर रहे हैं या सीट नहीं है क्लास में तो आई टेल द किड्स कि तुम डिसाइड करो कि तुम्हें कहाँ बैठना है एवरी टाइम आई विल नॉट अरेंज थिंग्स फॉर यू सो लाइक सम चिल्ड्रन से कि आज आप उन तीनों लोग साथ में बैठते हैं लाइक मोस्टली ऑन वन बेंच टू किड्स सेट तो फिर ये उनको डिसीजन मेकिंग का पावर आ जाता है थोड़ा या फिर वो रेस्पॉन्सिबल बन जाते हैं चीजों को या स्टफ्स को लेके या स्कूल प्रॉपर्टी को लेके सो आई फील की लाइक बच्चे ज्यादा अभी काइंड और एम्पथिक हो गए हैं कभी तो किसी ने तो कुछ टिफिन नहीं लाया था तो बच्चे ने बोल दिया कि अरे शेयरिंग इज कैरिंग होता है ना तो अच्छा तो अब तू और मैं साथ में खा लेते लाइक दैट और मेरा एक हैबिट है कि क्लासरूम में ब्लैक बोर्ड पे आई राइट थॉट सो फर्स्ट आई यूज टू टीच हायर ग्रेड्स बट नाउ आई हैव बीन गिवन लाइक ग्रेड वन ग्रेड टू तो वो तो बहुत ही छोटे बच्चे होते हैं तो आई वॉज लाइक कि इनके लिए जो बड़े बड़े थॉट लिखते हैं कि विल दे रियली अंडरस्टैंड या ऐसा कुछ लिखा जाए कि मतलब उन, उनको वो देख कर फिर वो चीजें पता चले सो आई स्टार्टेड राइटिंग लाइक हेल्प इच अदर कीप योर क्लास रूम क्लीन तो एवरी डे आज किड्स की आज क्या थॉट लिखे सो वन किड्स टूड एंड सेट टीचर बी काइंड लिखो तो आई वॉज लाइक सो सरप्राइज लाइक कि चलो आई वुड राइट दिस इमीजिएटली क्योंकि उनकी तरफ से ये चीजें आना सो इट वॉज लाइक कि ये स्लाइटेस्ट चीजें जो बच्चों को हम लोग पूछते हैं या ये जो छोटी छोटी प्रैक्टिस में चेंज लाते हैं 
so this this will really bring change in students i feel yeah yeah thank you and and that's keeping with your intention of bringing making the world a better place so uh, i'm fingers crossed that that happens um, sooner rather than later almas would you like to add to that aapko kya lagta hai ki inclusion or sel systemic change lane se what will become possible it will become you know it for personally for me like after sel coming and me understanding like has i told you like my parents don't understand i when i play football so from sel i understand myself and i was trying to thinking why my parents thinking like girls can't play so i was just thinking and understanding so then i realized that they come from a background where they have thought that so like me under before my parents understanding my tried in understanding them you know mm-hmm. why they are saying it why even the teachers say that why we can't be like you know gender equality is not there so i tried in understanding them and realizing and apart from like what i started doing at home na like sharing my like mummy you know as aisa hua i i had a new i made a new friend as a boy like you know sharing those small small thing and like you know, by sharing they understand like what is important and we are not going on a wrong direction hmm. See, what person what parents are insecure about is you can't go in like something different so what we we do is like share things little little things and make them understand like it's not that it's wrong talking to boys or going out playing football like sharing those little thing and making them understand our surrounding and like they have been like my mom have been cool with they don't used to talk to boys and all that apart from those cultures like sharing those and making her understand you know this is 21st century and this is how it's happening now so yeah so like those kind of things they change and apart from it i have gained a huge confidence i and apart from being this this small activities in schools i have understand how to disagree to some points then i like you know i was to be like i am always right but then i understand like everyone others as important thoughts and you are wrong at the time so you how you disagree with them in a respectful manner apart from textbook knowledge i have learned many values life values that have gained me and shaped me today wow i think what a thought provoking thing it's important that we all agree to disagree i think that's the only way meaningful discussion and conversation can actually happen uh, it's not so much about putting down someone else but respectfully it's a it's a difference of opinion but how can we have a conversation about that that's so meaningful um thanks almas and lopa anything um that you feel might become possible um before we open it up to the audience for some questions पॉसिबल होगा कि नहीं पता नहीं है पर ऑफकोर्स होप तो वही है एंड विच इज वॉट मेक्स श्योर यू गेट अप एवरी डे एंड यू डू वॉट यू डू आई थिंक वन एस सी एल एंड इंक्लूसिविटी एंड द नीड फॉर इट इज आई थिंक अक्रॉस द बोर्ड वेदर इट्स इकोनॉमिक लेवल्स एंड सो आई डोंट नो लाइक इवन ऑन टूडेज दिस एंटायर वेबिनार how many schools or people serving the more economically better of uh, schools or student base uh, are a part of this but i think there is a need to very very high need to do that across the board i think uh, yeah. what i would want to imagine happening is i think if we if through sel through um inclusivity and whatever other words connected to that one may want to talk about i think if we are able to address these issues and the nuances around being non violent uh, mm-hmm. i think that will be a huge huge uh, uh, improvement huge huge change and again i mean like everything in sel every word has so many layers and nuances and uh, even something like non violence it's not just about teachers will stop hitting kids in a classroom or parents will stop hitting or kids will stop hitting each other um, okay. that wo ek bahut bhadde level ka violence hai uh, okay. but uh, jaise aap jaate ho gender mein jaate ho caste mein jaate ho uh, urban rural mein differences mein jaate ho domestic violence bahut sari cheeze hain but mujhe lagta hai ki uh, us uh, if we are able to move in, somewhere in that space i think for our own selves and for others around us uh, i think that would make me happy and i do think that is possible uh, of course uh, with the disadvantage of age uh, there are days when you feel 
कुछ नहीं बदल सकता अब तो एंड देन देर आर डेज यू फील नहीं नहीं वेन यू सी अना एन एन अलमास टॉक द वे दे डू एंड स्माइल द वे दे डू यू फील नहीं नहीं ऑफकोर्स सब कुछ बदल सकता उट just going to pause for a few seconds to see so i can't see uh, much of the other screen but um anyone from the back end if you all can see um any questions i'm just going to wait for 20 seconds and uh, in the meanwhile i do want to say thank uh, to thank all three of you all it's been incredible to have this conversation um i wish that there was not time limits for things like this and we could talk more uh, but but i i am going to take the liberty of saying that i probably will call each of you all individually um to learn some more from all of you all uh, so thank you for such a meaningful and an enriching discussion um with us today